it's happening. They passed the uh, 1.9 stimulus bill, and some of you that are unemployment and deemed unessential like me uh, got a little bit of relief. But um, if you don't know what inflation is, inflation is like, they call it inflation because it's like filling up a balloon. What's in a balloon? It looks might look big, might look like Mickey Mouse, but when you pop it, it's just air in there. So the best thing I could say is it's, it's like back in the 80s and 90s, they printed all these cards, these football cards and baseball cards. They printed so many of them because they only had like tops and donors that if you go look at the price of them now, they're still not worth anything. They're probably not even worth the paper that they printed on because they printed so much, it devaluates it. So I've already seen this in the States, the prices of stuff. I was in 7-Eleven the other day. I reached for a can of soda, like the little tall can, a Diet Coke. It was $2.30 something cents plus CRV tax for a can of soda. That thing a year ago, I remember before I was deemed unessential, was $1.19. I remember tripping because it went from a dollar, it went from 89, it went from 89 cents to like $1.19, and now it's at two thirty within the last couple years. And I notice stuff like that. Start looking at the prices of candy bars. Those are gonna be like four or five dollars if they aren't already. Your gas prices have gone up. Everything's going up. And when they sign this $1.9 trillion bill, which like 10% of it is going to Americans and the rest is going to some ridiculousness. This is the payoff. This is for the payoff for COVID. This is what it is. They're funneling money to everybody. This is how they do it. And they usually do this funneling money with wars. That's why we've been in these endless wars. That's why when Papa Bush was in Iraq and he left and they got out of Iraq, kind of, little, little baby Bush had to go right back in there. Uh, and he had Halliburton, the vice president, ex-CEO, was the vice president of the uh, country. He, they got in trouble because they were funneling all the money, the military money, to Halliburton. That's how they usually do it. But right now, they're just doing it flat, bluntly. They're using the, the virus, and they're funneling money. This is what they do. This is why they need control. This is why they needed the uh, Trojan horse Biden in there. Because if you haven't noticed, he's a shell of a man. He's a puppet. All right? And I hate to say it. I feel sorry for everybody who had to work through this coronavirus. Because you guys had to put up with all these stringent uh, rules and regulations with the mask. And I'm sure you have your routine for the mask because that's what it is, a ritual. And anyway, I feel sorry for you because now I'm sure in six months when this inflation really starts to hit, you start to see it. Right now they've done it incrementally on you. You haven't noticed it yet, but you're starting to see the gas prices. But in six months when you've been working, you're still going to be probably making the same amount of money in six months than you're making right now. And the only problem is the price of everything around you is going to go up. It doesn't matter if you're in a red state, blue state, doesn't matter. Everything's going up across the globe in the, in the states because they've printed so much money. So just like I had my bubble burst last year when I, they took away my job and deemed me unessential, a lot of you people are going to have your bubble burst and you're not going to be able to hide. Okay, I thought I could hide in my bubble too, but you can't. You got to start waking up. Things you could do, I would right away, I would get off the mainstream. I get off Netflix, I get off Hulu, I get off Disney. I would just shut those off. You could start going online. Also, I'd go look for new platforms, not just Facebook, not just Twitter. Start going. I like Rumble a lot. They're going to be having live streams soon. And just, we got to get off this old system that they're used to. They're used to having us on this old system. And as far as news media, um, I was actually watching Dan Bongino. He, he, he had a good show today talking about this whole bill. And you can see him on Rumble or on Facebook. He's on all the platforms. But he was talking about how this 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 package. Don't forget what this package means. That means they're gonna they're gonna charge taxes. They're gonna, we, we, our taxes are gonna pay for this package. It's our tax money. So it's gonna cost on the average seventeen thousand dollars per person. We're gonna have to pay to pay this debt back down. We still have to pay this debt back down. And they're only gonna kick you out fourteen hundred dollars if you're not on unemployment. That's crazy. That's crazy. So we got to start doing, I'm doing my little part. You guys got to start doing yours. And another thing I want to talk about is uh, I, was, I was watching these people and they're, they're talking uh, to these kids on the campuses and out there talking about like stuff that Trump did. And they kept saying HSBCUs, HSBCUs. That's historically black college universities, okay? You have to explain to these people. Like they don't know. The average American doesn't know. You got to think of those shows with Jay Leno going to Americans and talking to them. If you just say HSBCU, people don't know what that means. That's why I came out here and start, had to explain inflation because sometimes people just stare at you. And I've noticed that. Like, these people don't know. They don't know what inflation is. They just hear inflation and they're like, oh, yeah, oh. Or they heard you go, HSBCU, HSBCU. They didn't know what that meant. That's why I started making these videos. So hopefully I get to some people and, and, and not be scared to explain to you what this stuff means. Because you just hear inflation, you might go, oh, yeah, inflation, that's a terrible thing. You don't want to look stupid at the moment. And you're not stupid, you just don't know. All right. Anyway, it's Mikey's Two Cents. Good luck. <laughs>